Looking to buy, I hope. Hey, how's life? Come back if you remember what you want. Looking for anything in particular? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Sure. All right. Later. Hey. Hey, you. Uh... <sighs> Just one. Uh, things slow out there. Wow. Too many to count. One. Okay. Just one? Uh, things slow up there? All right, later, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, Deke. Can I ask you something? Could I stop you, Blair? Could I? <laughs> no. I heard there was a big fight between Schizo and Iron Mike. What's going on? Do you know? I mean, I hear things like Schizo wants to take over the camp. That's messed up. Just, uh, look, I don't believe everything you hear, okay? You'll stay sane that way. Okay, then. Hey, see ya. Deke, thank God. Ricky, what's wrong? Do you know a man named Joshua Harper? Harp? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know him. I never trusted this son of a bitch. He, uh, wrapped a black bandana around his head like he was <laughs> some goddamn hipster or something. Yeah, well, your instincts are pretty spot on. He shot Dan Lane in the back over a card game and took off. Oh, Jesus, where is he now? A patrol spotted him heading south. They were too scared to even approach him. I guess he'd met up with a group of drifters. I really need your help on this one. Okay, uh, I'll handle it. I marked where they spotted him on your map. Thanks, Deke. Hey, man. Just looking around. I'll, I'll be right there. Deacon out. Ricky, looks like Harp and his men are heading to Camp Creek. 
a gun. You sure you can handle this? What do you think? Just asking. Hey, come on. Lost Lake Al. Think of this the easy way. Oh, shit. Let's go do my work for me. Don't let me stop you. Dick, did you find him? Uh, yeah. I hear gunshots. No, well, yeah, there's a uh, swarm. It, it kind of got to him before I did. Jesus. Well, bring back his headscarf. Dance people want proof that Harper is dead. Yeah, okay, well, it, it might be a little bit mess. Fine. All right, sure, yes. Time, boys. Got it? Oh, Jesus, what a mess. Okay, head back and talk to Ricky. Get my credits updated.
right in the okay. crease there. Okay, got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go, that's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, it was old Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's he really, really that. cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, it could have been one of those, yeah. those three goddamn musketeers. Hungar, oh, you fucking <laughs> ripper. Right. Pretty oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, maybe this hey. wasn't that good of an idea? Yeah, maybe. Damn it. Okay. Hey, Ricky, uh, here's Tarp's bandana. <sighs> what a mess. Yep, that's what I said. Thanks, Deke. I'll let dance people know. You here to buy something? Hey, Buzz. <laughs> Your bike's looking good now. Yeah, that'll last you. Yeah, good part, that one. Where the hell's my ratchet wrench? That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. What else can I get you? <laughs> Your bike's looking good now. Gonna be here late. Yeah, that'll last you. Yeah, good part, that one. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. Mm, what else can I get you? I'll be here, if you need me. Ain't you sick of smoking? No way in hell. See you later, Deke. I was in my classroom when, uh, you know, I taught English. Deke, Shemalka long time no see. Well, there, you are looking fine today. Screaming. Thought it was a shooting at first. Good one. But it was freaks. A lot of freaks. They came tearing through like uh like it was a riot or something. Yeah, good. So Karen, other teachers. Um, okay. <laughs> yep. I ran. And the next few days were a blur. No idea how. All right. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Say, John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. 
Brian, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. And one last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey. Hey. You headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, mm -hmm. O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Couple of guys burned out. Where are we headed? Right. Over toward Malakwa Lake. Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's yeah. just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So, what are we doing there? A Nero chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your shot caller? Handler? No. Jesus, loser. You know why the hell we're out here? Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump. You ask how high. It's not how it is. So how you holding up? Not bad. Nah, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm, pulling weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. I spend summers working the beet fields. Yeah, a little dirt bike I tooled around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Pete. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay close. Right behind you. I need the area secured now. now. Yeah. All right, spread out and secure the perimeter. I don't want any screw up there this it is. time. Jesus. Okay. Let's get this done. I thought I'd see one of those again. In the air, I mean. All right, now watch. Soldiers come out first, they secure the LZ. Then their boy genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell, he comes out, he looks around. What? Whatever science shit they're doing out here, how the hell would I know? The one's been spying Squad check. OK, Clear. wait here. I'm clear. Oh.
must know. We're picking up scat samples. <laughs> you mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. So, you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. Analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as manicious berries from Janiporus communis. So, why do we. <laughs> No, we're picking up scat samples. You mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. So, you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Scat samples. <laughs> you mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. So, you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. <laughs> as well as pernicious berries from Janiporus communis. So, why do we care? Why do we...
got movement. Hey, what you got there, Doc? Really? <laughs> okay, if you must know, we're picking up scat samples. <laughs> you mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. So, you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as manicious berries from Juniperus communis. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. The freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head back to the bike. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. Okay, I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, Brian said he had news. He knew her middle name, Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? Alright, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. 
I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that we that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of Tumult. Okay, so... So she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 look. There was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel? The soldiers? The guys with the guns? The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. I know all They're about fast. hordes. Oh, they right. knew that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, we had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand. If you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would have been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, goddamn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Shit. <sighs> right. Booze, man, where the hell did you go? Boot tracks. That's gotta be his. This is it. What the hell is this? way. Deke, you still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, great. Let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. Gonna let that shower run forever.
Yeah, okay. Uh, that's that. It sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go. All right, Deacon out. Over here! Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. You are shit. He's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't, we can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't, we can't do it here. Here, let me, uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can. Okay, boy. Okay, easy. It's okay. All right, just oh, hold Jesus, it. Deke. It's okay, just. That's it. All right. It's okay, big guy. Rest. Disappointed. I just, I hate those sons of bitches, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. But uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know. If you had made this shift for me, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I, mean, I guess I'd... Well, you know, 
Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. Hey, there's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? How'd uh, what go? You know, goddamn well, your guy in the space suit, what'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? <laughs> 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 Stay down, brother. Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? I think... I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camping gonna feed itself. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Fucking <laughs> shameful. Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. So, she died that night, and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run in with. Hey, where the hell is you, bro? He skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? Was he, sh just sh shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling? For months. Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Loser will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Deke. Uh, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. Asshole. Goddamn Schizo. You guys, come on, keep working, keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. Right already. That's it. Hey, thanks for the ride. You all start. There you go. St. John to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. 
Deke, I hear you. Mike, good. Look. Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run in. Rippers, they. Rippers? God damn it, you boys crossed the Iron Ridge? Dick, I told you! Just listen. No, Mike. They were here, in Rogue Camp. Rogue Camp? There were Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? Heavy shirts. Jesus, Mike, yeah. They're kind of hard to miss, you know, with the scars and acting crazy, killing anything that moves. All right, just calm down. We got a parlay with Carlos. Schizo's heading over to Iron Butte tomorrow. He'll find out what the hell's going on and then we'll... You're sending Schizo to parlay with Carlos. Jesus, Mike. Don't tell me how to run my camp, Deke. Like I said, my treaty is gonna hold Lost Lake out. Now, whatever you say, Mike. Whatever you say, Schizo's right. You're gonna get a big Shit, someone needs help. You can say John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. I heard you tracked down Hart. I was hoping you'd bring him in for trial. Well, sorry, Mike. He uh let, let's say the swarmers had other ideas about that. Oh shit. Ricky didn't tell me that. Hart wasn't the kind of man you ever turned your back to, but he didn't deserve to go out like that. Uh, I guess not, uh, but then I guess Dan Lane didn't deserve to get shot in the back either. I'm, uh, I'm heading up to Marion Forks. Marion Forks? What the hell for? Because I decided... Well, it's like you said, I've, uh, wandered long enough. It's, uh, time to say goodbye. You heading to the church? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Jesus, Deke. It's the last time, Boozer, I swear, he can out.
One came. <laughs> I guess we really pissed off everyone on both sides. Well, I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. This ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. It has no beginning and no end. I love you.
This ring is my promise that I'm always gonna love you. And I ain't ever gonna leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back. But only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, let me, let me just go. Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke. What's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trash in the place. Wish I'd been there. I'd have helped you kill them all. Messing with Sarah's church. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in. Deacon out. Addy, you there? Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Deacon, I'm here. Addy, good, good. Look, um, are you gonna be around for a while? I, uh, I need to see you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, look, nothing. I'm, I'll tell you when I get there. Deacon out. job for you. Ricky, hey, um, okay, yeah, I'll check in. Deacon out. I smell it. <clears throat> it's gotta be getting close. Damn it, sniper ambush. Oh shit, not now. They got him!
That, huh? Shoot me, you fucking bastard.
Hey, Deke. How you been? You got what you need? Yeah, everything I can think of. Let's go. Well, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here! Shit! Swarmers. I was hoping it was gonna be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? Burn in hell. <laughs> okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. Yeah, not bad. I got him! Try There we go. Ah! Get 
Ricky. Two, three. If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. <laughs> There we go. I see him. Should have seen that coming. If you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks. I'll try to keep that in mind. God damn it. Oh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. Okay, how the hell did- It's not hard to put two and two together, Deke. How you lost her at that refugee camp. The one north of Belknap. And in the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air, and you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look, it's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. Okay. Gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. 
Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now, the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters ride into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now, for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. She can't do it alone. She needs help. The night is going to happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. Don't be. She's, uh, she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to... I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. So the woman in the photo, that was her? That was my wife, yeah. Dumb question. I'm I'm sorry, Deke. No, don't be. She's, uh, she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to, I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. OK. Addie? Addie? Yeah, the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addie, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip? Strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm-hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean Ah, uh -huh. that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just huh? Sh hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? 
Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh, I don't remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, well, I heard that Addie doesn't really like, um, people messing around in her business. Yeah, I, I heard that too. What about this one? <sighs> I think I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. <laughs> 